Hey everybody, Captain Kimo here, and I wanted to show you my new little toy. It's a do-it-yourself uh, camera slider. As you know, I've been doing a lot of time lapses lately, and I wanted to uh, build a slider from scratch just for fun. And basically, this is the motor that I'm using. It's a uh, telescope motor, and it's running this platform here that the camera's on. And all I used was a fishing hook and some fishing string to attach the motor to the platform and right now it's running so I'm gonna test this setup real fast to see how it looks and what comes out of it um, the motor here cost me $35 shipped from Adorama and everything else was pretty much free stuff I found from the backyard the piece of wood the PVC pipes kinda took everything cut it off and most of it was glued together using hot wax so and it's pretty sturdy so I haven't mounted the camera yet it's I'm gonna mount it eventually but it's not mounted it's loose on the platform there and I'll show you the uh, time-lapse when it's done okay so the time-lapse is done but I wanted to show you quickly what I did to get or to create my time lapse here on my uh, Canon Rebel and what I did was I used a program called Magic Lantern and it's on the, uh, the SD card it's actually a, a little hack and to get the time lapse I use the trash can button I click here and I have access to a bunch of uh, different or uh, different options here and I just use the intervalometer right there and I set it and I can set it to different uh, settings there if I go and hit my little print button there I can set it for however many pictures per second so and I have a bunch of other options I haven't played around with those yet but that's that's pretty much it that's how I got my time lapse for there because the Canon Rebel T3 does not have a time lapse or an intervalometer built into the camera so um, using the magic lantern uh, hack it allows me to do that or you can just attach a intervalometer into the little uh, remote core right there and use that. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made this real fast. You have the uh, the motor here, and if you look into the, if I turn this around real fast, I have a little hook here. The hook is hooked onto a little platform that moves so I can take this off real fast okay so I had a little bit of a situation there which I'll fix later the hook was actually the barb was stuck in the, uh, the little hole here but here's the uh, here's the whole setup here and basically what I did was this this platform here just slides across the PVC pipe and I glued it on together using basically using um, hot glue so there's a PVC pipe here, another PVC pipe in here that goes over this PVC pipe. And I had those laying around the house. Um, if you don't have that laying around the house, you can pick it up at Home Depot or whatnot for about $3, 10 foot for $3 or something like that. So they're not, it's not really that expensive. You can see here, it's just hot glue that I glued in to pretty much keep it sturdy and it's, it's pretty sturdy. So this is just all for fun um, I do plan on buying a, a more professional setup but I did this because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a do it yourselfer so uh, the motor here um, you can see the motor here this is this is what comes with it this spool here kinda just kinda spins and that revolution that you just saw from here to here was about about an hour or so and that's cranked on uh, full full speed so here's the the buttons that uh, you use here. This is to turn turn it on, and this is to uh, tell it to go either in reverse or forward. And it's that's pretty much it. All right, so here is our time lapse video. It looks pretty good for a thirty-five dollar slider. It's not perfectly smooth, but uh, I'll fix that later. I think it's because the uh, fishing line has a little, a little give to it. So if I use something that's a little, little tighter, it'll move a little smoother. 